All right, so we're going to check out your brushstroke here from the side view. Love your head position as you come above the water. You're keeping your head right in line with your shoulders, in line with your neck, in line with your back. You're keeping your, your head in line with your spine, which is excellent. Good job of just letting your head fall forward. I don't see you really tucking your chin too much, a little bit, but not too much. You do a great job of really just driving all the way forward. The other thing I like is your head is just barely below the water, below the surface, which is excellent. Just make sure to keep your head in line with your arms a little bit better. So if you keep your hands up a little bit higher on the underwater portion, instead of going down, if you push them forward, your head's going to fall right in line with those arms. Your body line is going to be so much better. But as far as your stroke goes here, press your hands out really well. Good early breath. Sarah, I don't really know that that can look a whole lot better. That looks great. Excellent job of extending your kick as well. You can see your feet are just coming together here. you got a nice long body line. Your hands are pushed forward. That looks so good. <clears throat> Again, good early breath. You can see those hands are pointing out to the side. you got your hands turned on angle, which means you're pressing out, which is a great catch. Absolutely awesome catch. Breathing early, and your head just falls in perfectly. On your kick, you can see right here, you can probably bring your feet a little bit closer to your hips. You can see there's a little bit of space right here and here. Let those feet almost touch your hips, okay? So get those legs, knees in a little bit better. You can bring your feet up towards your hips a little bit stronger that way. Excellent job of finishing your kick, Sarah. That looks so good. Now, as we go into our turn here, it's a good touch. Eyes need to be right here on that hand, and your head position doesn't look too far off there. The thing I do like here is your shoulder are much better at shoulder at water depth. So while underwater it looks like you were bringing up really, really high, when I look above water, that looks great. Now your head at this point is looking over here. What we'd like to do is still be watching that hand. You want to watch that hand all the way through it coming off that wall. You can see that your hand is facing this way here. And when you're watching that hand, we want you to watch that hand go right behind your ear. We don't want it to push out to the side like that. What you're doing there is kind of causing a little bit of drag and almost maybe more of a circle swim. So we do want to make sure we're careful on that. That was a good quick dolphin kick. But ideally, you want to wait a good three seconds. You were probably about a second and a half, maybe two seconds. Got to make sure you wait for three seconds before you do that dolphin kick. On that pull is good, but here you can see those hands are really, really high. It's almost like you're pulling them behind your back. And what I call this, this is what I call angel wings, right? Hands are out to this side, and it's causing a little more drag than you, what you'd like. Get those hands on the front of your thighs so that it kind of hunches your whole shoulders and makes for a much better underwater pull-out. Underwater kick. All right, so this is the breakout part, right? We can see that we're doing the underwater kick. And at the very start of it, this is where you're starting your underwater kick right here. Your head's really already breaking the surface. Okay, so you're about halfway through that kick, and now your head's up. So you're never really able to use your underwater kick to push yourself forward. So we've got to work on the underwater kick pushing you forward a little bit better so that you actually can extend that underwater a little bit better. You're about two and a half body lengths past the flags, but if you work on that portion, you're going to be closer to four, which is a little bit less that you have to swim, which will give you a little more speed and energy at the end. Okay? Thanks, Sarah.